Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover inequalities on a number line. We'll start by taking a look at graphing inequalities on a number line, then we'll move on to writing inequalities from a number line, and then lastly, I'll give you some practice problems that you can try on your own. Now, graphing an inequality on a number line gives us a visual representation of the inequality and the solutions. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have x is greater than or equal to five. Since x is greater than or equal to five, that means five is included. Five is a solution. So let's start at five with a filled circle. A filled circle shows that we are including that number. And then an open circle shows that we are not including that number. So a filled circle is needed here. Now we need to represent the greater than five part. So we need to draw an arrow pointing to the right, the direction of all of the numbers greater than five. So we need an arrow pointing to the right. And now our inequality, x is greater than or equal to five, is graphed on the number line. The filled circle shows we are including five, and then the arrow represents all of the numbers greater than five. These are our solutions. For example, let's just say that x equals nine. Does that work? Does nine make the inequality true? Well, is nine greater than or equal to five? Yes, so nine is a solution along with five and then any other number greater than five. Let's move on to number two where we have w is less than one. Now for this example, our number in the inequality one is not included, it's not a solution. W has to be less than one. And think about it, one is not less than one. One is equal to one, so it's not a solution. So here we need an open circle to show that one is not included, it's not a solution. So let's put an open circle at one. And now we need an arrow. We know that W is less than one, so we need an arrow pointing to the left, the direction of all of the numbers less than one. So let's draw an arrow pointing to the left. And now we have our inequality, W is less than one, graphed on the number line. The open circle shows that one is not included. It's not a solution. And then the arrow represents all of the numbers less than one. So these are our solutions. Let's move on to number three, where we have 32 is greater than or equal to y. Or in other words, looking at this as far as the variable y, y is less than or equal to 32. And we can rewrite this with the variable coming first. This can be helpful when working with inequalities. And all we need to do is flip it around. So y is less than or equal to 32. Just make sure to have the sign going the correct way. For example, here the sign is opening up towards 32, so it needs to stay that way when putting the variable first. Y needs to remain less than or equal to 32. Now let's graph this on the number line. We need a filled circle at 32, and then y is less than or equal to, so the arrow needs to point left, the direction of all of the numbers less than 32. So we need an arrow pointing left. And now we have our inequality graphed. The filled circle shows that we are including 32, and then the arrow represents all of the numbers less than 32. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have a is greater than negative four. Let's start at negative four, and negative four is not a solution. It's not included, so we need an open circle at negative four. 
Now we need to draw an arrow that is pointing to the right, the direction of all of the numbers greater than negative four. So an arrow pointing to the right. And now our inequality is graphed on the number line. The open circle is showing that negative four is not included. And then the arrow is representing all of the numbers greater than negative four, all of the solutions. So there's how to graph inequalities on a number line. Let's move on to writing inequalities. Here is our writing inequalities from a number line section. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one. Now for number one, we have a filled circle at eight. Let's start there. And remember, a filled circle means that the number is included. It's a solution. An open circle means the number is not included. It's not a solution. So we have a filled circle at eight and then an arrow pointing left towards all of the numbers less than eight. So that means eight and then all of the numbers less than eight are solutions. So let's write our variable and we will use X. Now X is going to represent all of our solutions, all of the numbers that will make this inequality true. Now looking at the number line again, we have a filled circle at eight. So that shows us that eight is included. It is a solution. And then we have an arrow pointing left, the direction of all of the numbers less than eight. So X is going to be less than or equal to eight. And that's our inequality. Let's move on to number two, where we have an open circle at negative four. So an open circle at negative four, and then we have an arrow pointing to the right. So it's going the direction of all of the numbers greater than negative four. So let's write an inequality here, and we'll use X again. So we have X, and then X is going to be greater than negative four. Now, is negative four included in these solutions? No, so we do not have a greater than or equal to. It's just greater than, again, because we have that open circle. That tells us that that number is not included. Let's move on to number three, where we have a filled circle at 20 and then an arrow pointing right. So we have all of the numbers greater than 20 and 20 is included. It is a solution. We have that filled circle there. So X is greater than or equal to 20. And then lastly, number four, we have an open circle at zero. So zero is not a solution. It's not included. And then the arrow goes left, is pointing to the left towards all of the numbers that are less than zero. So X is less than zero. So there you have it. There's how to write inequalities from a number line. Check to see if you have a filled circle or an open circle and then check to see which direction the arrow is going. Is the arrow pointing to all of the numbers greater than whatever number you're looking at or pointing towards all of the numbers less than whatever number you are looking at? And then you can write an inequality based on that. So there are all of our example problems. Let's move on to some practice problems that you can try on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. I'll give you five minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to press pause if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers whenever you are ready. For numbers one through three, graph the inequality on a number line. And for your number lines, you can just put a few numbers like I did for the example. So draw out your own number lines for these. For numbers four through six, write the inequality from each number line, like the example up top where we have X is greater than or equal to three. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that was five minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, we should have a filled circle at two with an arrow pointing right. For number two, we should have a filled circle at negative 10 with an arrow pointing left. And then for number three, we should have an open circle at zero with an arrow pointing right. And for number three, it can be helpful to rewrite that inequality with the variable first. Moving on to number four, we should have x is less than negative one. For number five, x is greater than or equal to 17. And then lastly, for number six, x is less than 50. So there you have it. There's how to graph inequalities on a number line and write inequalities from a number line. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.